And welcome yes. back to Summit Sunrise. I'm here with Luisa from Ski Jor and More. <laughs> Part of a series all about how to uh, train your dog, or at least try to get those steps going to maybe have a little bit better behaved dog. Exactly. And good morning. Um, yeah, t this is National Train Your Dog Month. And so last week we talked a little about, you know, the ABCs, attention, behavior, and consistency. Yeah. And we talked about it all starts with at least getting their attention. Yes. Yeah. Which <laughs> can be the hardest part. Yes, exactly. Especially with this little guy. So we got He's a rescue dog, here. Rerun. Rerun is a rescue that we adopted two years ago from Western Border Collie Rescue, and we were, were his temp home. Oh, really? So he was two years old when we adopted him, and he, by then he'd already had temp homes. Wow. So he's a very high drive dog, um, very distractible. So we've done a lot of work. And he's a work in progress. Ah, you know? and you're coming along. Yeah, so we've done a lot of work with getting his attention. But today I kind of want to move on to boundaries. Boundaries, okay. Boundaries. So being a, a um, training your dog is kind of like being a good parent, mm -hmm. you know, where you, know, you don't let your kids get away with everything. You do set reasonable yeah. boundaries. And then next week we'll talk about being consistent Ah, about those very much, boundaries. Very applicable to parenting, I think. <laughs> exactly. Um, and so, so what's good is to decide for your own self with your dog, what are your boundaries in your house? Mm -hmm. And decide that ahead of time. So this would be like jumping up on furniture, exactly. rooms that maybe rooms, not to be going exactly, in. Okay. Exactly. And that's a pretty much personal decision. Mm -hmm. But it should be, you should decide that ahead of time so that you can teach your dog what yeah. those boundaries are and be proactive about it versus being reactive and just yelling at them when yeah. they do it. And then they're like, well, I didn't know I wasn't supposed to. I was you not know? on this chair last week. <laughs> exactly, exactly. So, so it's good to decide on those. And for everyone, those are going to be you know, their personal lifestyle. Yeah. You know, I do let my dogs up on the furniture. But then they also know off. Yes, when exactly. I let them off the furniture. Um, but there are some boundaries that are actually pretty universal that I do suggest. Okay. One is with greeting manners that four on the floor, mm -hmm. you know, not two on the floor and one, Jumping you know, up, yeah. two, on the, two on the shoulder. Yeah, and then getting taken down. <laughs> right, exactly. And he's got a good torpedo nose on him, so we really <laughs> yeah. worked on that. Um, and then the, another one is, um, is, is um, not chasing. Oh, okay. Okay. So if there's a squirrel in the peripheral vision, right, the ways yeah. to kind of not and, go after it. And, right, and to, to control their impulses. And we're going to do a little exercise here okay. about controlling impulses. Perfect. Um, but, you know, chasing cars, chasing bikes, chasing skateboards, chasing kids, chasing livestock, chasing wildlife mm -hmm. is a big no-no. Yeah. And that has well, to be a boundary. Especially up here in Summit County, I feel exactly. like. Exactly. Yeah. And that's got to be something you've got to teach. Another um, boundary that I like to talk about is a lot of people like to use a glove as a play toy. Okay. And a chew toy. But a dog can't discriminate between a glove without a hand in it and a glove with a hand in it. Oh, and yes. so they'll be out on the trail, and they see someone going along like this with their glove on, and they're they like, think, oh, that's my toy. That's my toy. And then chomp, and you've got a bite on your yeah, hand. Yeah, that's not So good. that's something really relevant to, to this county. you just got to think of the possible consequences down the road yeah. of what you're teaching your Being dog Being proactive about it. Being proactive. Great. So we're going to do a little... Um, this is a, um, one of the Zen exercises, and this teaches self-control. And this is a basis for teaching something called leave it. Okay. okay? But what we're going to do here, can you, run, can you see? We're going to let him, he's going to learn that backing off is what gets the reward. Okay. Okay. So, yes, I know. And you know those he's are going to be there. He's ready to perform You're right ready. now. Okay. So we're going to let him sniff, and he's going to try to get this. Yes. Good boy. As soon as he backed off, I said yes. Uh -huh. Okay. Let's see if we can show this on camera. Okay, here we go. And we're going to let him sniff. Yes, good boy. So he's getting I rewarded see. for backing off. Yes, good boy. And now sometimes the dogs, if you even change the position, you start all over again. Huh. Yes, good boy. Oh, I see. So good he's slowly boy. starting to realize. Starting? Yes, good boy. And you'll see them start responding after a while. Yes, good boy. Good boy. Now, if I open, let's try a little open hand. We'll see. Yes. Oh, good wow. Boy. That was good. Good boy. And then we can add the word leave it to this. Now okay. that we have the behavior, we're going to go leave it. Yes. Good. Leave it. And you notice I'm saying yes as soon as he does it right. Uh -huh. That yeah. lets him know that that was right. Okay. Okay. Leave it. Yes. Good boy. Wow. Leave it. Yes. Wow. Good boy. And this is just something you can Leave kind it. of like integrate huh? into your daily routine. Exactly. Little, little kind of tricks. 
leave it. Ah, freebie, uh-oh. Oh. It didn't work that way. We're not He's quite like, there. come on, Mom, yeah. I'm still a kid. <laughs> so that just shows we weren't there yet yeah. for training. So we just got to do it a little bit more. Leave it. Yes. Very good. Good boy. Leave it. Yes. Wow. Good boy. We're and it shows good. just, you know, the, yeah. the key words that he's listening for mm -hmm. from you. That was good. It's just really comes down to communication. Leave it. You see it? Yeah, good boy, good boy. <laughs> and, you know, what's good is he's looking at me now. Yes, you know, and not at the treats. Right. We'll try it again. We'll see if we're there yet. Leave it. Leave it. Uh, oh, freebie, we're oh. not there yet. <laughs> Try it again. But it shows that he is very much in tune to it Leave what it. you're saying. Yes, good oh, boy. Oh, there we go. <laughs> good boy. Leave it. Yes. Good boy. Leave it. Uh. <laughs> He's again. like, there's got to be there's some crumbs be some I can more. get here. Leave it. Yes, good boy. We're going to call good. it good with that. Still well, got to work on the one right in front of him on the floor. In the couple, of, the in the couple floor, of minutes that you were yeah. working with him, I mean, you could see his mentality change he just, when he, he was, was learning. Yeah, completely. exactly. That was good. That was a good boy. Now, <laughs> gonna, now you're going to hoover up the floor for us. <laughs> there you go. That was good boy. So for good people boy. that are interested in maybe kind of getting more of your services, or mm -hmm. I know you also are doing some ski joring clinics. Yes, we up. are. We do. Love to yep. let people know where they can find out more information. Exactly. It's on my website. Okay. www.skijorenmore.com. Okay. Perfect. Yes. And we've got training and we've got, yeah, a bunch of ski drawing come up. We had a great workshop yesterday over in Delson. That's Devilson. awesome. Yep. Very Thank nice. Thank goodness for the snow. I know. <laughs> ski drawing is easier when there's snow on the it ground, really for is. sure. It really is. Exactly. Well, exactly. perfect. So we got the website up on the screen. If you want to get in touch with Louisa, well, her number is also up there, 212016 is the last four digits you need to know. And then uh, you can have your dog just as trained as Rerun is right here. Yes. I think he did pretty good today. He did pretty good, did exactly. Pretty good. <laughs> so we Thanks. are going to take a quick break. Luis is actually going to stick around because we're going to talk about Red Buffalo Cafe in Silverthorne. But first, oh. we'll take a quick break and do your watch and win after that. Yeah. <laughs>